go ahead and play. The game takes a little bit of time to load. Now if you want to just hit someone, you pull the, the right trigger button and it shows you how many points of damage you've caused. So if you just want to kind of hang out and explore, uh, the people that the A button is available now to jump off, you, you don't necessarily want to jump off right away. That's where people, uh, a lot of people land in the same spot and a lot of people die very quickly. <laughs> so if you want to just kind of explore a little bit, you jump out by pushing the A button and then you can, uh, you know, use your, your right thumb button and choose where you want to look. You can use your left thumb button and sprint toward a location. And the area that I wanted to land at, I believe, is up here. So, yeah, you can control, you know, when to deploy your parachute. You don't really want to deploy your parachute yet. You can sprint down again. I don't really want to land here because there's usually, there is a uh, challenge that takes place in that area right now. So we kind of want to avoid that. Uh, if you go further out to the map, you can spend a lot of time uh, getting back toward the uh, the final circles. You have to watch uh, your little uh, heads-up display map in the corner to see when the storm starts to shrink. Uh, we don't have a weapon yet, so I'm just going to check in this gas station here to see if there's a weapon. And there is. So I'm auto picking it up, but the uh, X button otherwise picks it up. So, I mean, one of the tactics is to kind of land out in the middle of nowhere and uh, just, you know, explore. And if you hit this, uh, this other display button under the X, you can see where the next circle is going to close into. So I'm in an area down here, down south, that is going to be overcome by the storm, and if you get overcome by the storm, you will die after a few seconds. So, uh, just want to show you, this is how you obtain materials, and what you want to try to do is move your, you want to move your sight line there so that it hits the red spots, that helps you get more materials and so that's wood and here's going to be metal metal is the strongest material and other players can hear you so I'm making a lot of noise and brick is the middle material for strength so there we go so to equip your your gun you uh, just use your left or right button and all of a sudden you've got a gun um, left trigger aims, right trigger fires, that's pretty simple. Um, we go back to the pickaxe by hitting the Y button, and so, you know, here's one of the buildings, and again, we're on the outer edge, so there isn't going to be much fighting going on here. Uh, I do need to get back to where the next circle is going to be. If you look at the heads-up display, there's only a minute and 11 seconds before the game area collapses uh, because the storm is moving in. So the storm circles get smaller and smaller. And so what you have to do is stay inside the storm circle and it tells you how much time you have to get back. So we started with 100 people. There are 49 people left in the game. And I haven't seen a single person since I got off the battle bus. So, this is what happens if you, like, start at the edge, or start at the far edge. Uh, you can pretty much have the map to yourself. Not always. There might be a, some like-minded players out there, but you can uh, have a lot of time to explore and uh, complete some of the challenges that are just, you know, run around and do this or that kind of thing. So, this is... The new season seven snow area. I got a little off track here. I uh, just follow the 
line up to the next location. I'm still quite a ways away, so I have to do a lot of running. If you're even right next to where the circle is, you can stay ahead of it if you sprint. Uh, so I'm holding the, the left thumb all the way forward to sprint. Now you want to stay active uh, to avoid getting shot. That's usually very important. Another thing is to learn to build very quickly. Um, I don't really want to start building because the storm is closing in on me and if I start building something here I uh, we're, we're gonna get caught by the storm. You can also kind of check where you need to go by looking straight up. The storm is up there. I hear gunfire. You see I said uh, you can hear the other players. Someone is using an automatic weapon and that's not good. You uh, look at these various uh, this is an ammo box. You look at it and then you can pick up the ammo. So, um, I'm not really going to provide a lot of fighting tips and techniques other than show you how to use the gun. Uh, a lot of the, the people on the internet are really, really fond of the high ground, so you want to build a little ramp up and shoot at your opponent from above. It gives you headshot damage, which is uh, a lot more uh, a lot more beneficial to you and a lot <laughs> more dangerous for your opponent. And, in other words, it, it, there's a multiplier on headshot damage. It's it's like uh, one and a half or two times depending on you know who's quoting what. Uh, so you just uh, I'm wandering around. I mean, I'm hearing an opponent. I'm not seeing an opponent. So. Um, some of the, the places have, you know, a lot better, uh, some of the places are cities, and I've been avoiding the cities, um, uh, Shifty Shafts is interesting, but inside the buildings, uh, is a very good place to find weapons. It's very rare that you'll find one, uh, just laying out in the open. And usually, by now, all the chests have been looted, so if there is a chest in here, it's usually looted. If you hear kind of a, a ringing noise, there will be a chest with a gold color streaming out of it that you can loot. I don't hear anything. If there was one up in this attic, you'd be able to hear it. Uh, the chests are oftentimes in attics or basements. They're kind of hidden, and if you hear this ringing kind of noise, I hear it. Oh, dang, and I can't really explore it. I heard the ringing noise. There's one in there. But I can't really explore it because the storm is catching up with me. Now you can run out of the storm, but the storm will catch up with you and if you get caught by the storm you have to uh, heal your health with bandages or a med kit. Uh, you have to be careful of getting shot. If you get shot in a in a squad, then your uh, your squad mates can help you. Uh, this is Tilted Towers. There's a lot of people that land here and are experts. If you think they know where you are before you see them. They probably do because they're listening for you and they can tell how far away you are. That was just amazing. They can tell how far away you are, what direction you're going, all of that from the sound you make because they're so experienced with these kinds of places. So, you know, once you get killed off, then you get to watch the sniper or the, the person that killed you off. If you land here, you're going to get a lot of uh, gun battle in right away because a lot of people love to land here it's in the center of the map and there's a lot of weapons and they get a lot of uh, opportunities to battle right away so this is a favorite place to land and there are people that are absolute experts at this area um, I don't hope to take them on yet I don't claim to be an expert this is a beginner video um, I didn't really get to show you how to build <laughs> because I was still running from the storm. 
but that was how you build. Okay, so I'm going to chop it off here and maybe come back for building, but you know, basically you're going to going to hit the the B button on your controller and choose your options whether you want a wall, a floor, a ceiling, uh, I'm sorry, the floor and the ceiling are the same thing. Uh, steps are very useful because it gives you a nice angle. Uh, you can just lay down steps almost at a run and end up on top of a nice high little tower. Uh, so it's just, uh, so the best players at this game are very good at building, building uh, defense essentially, and they're very good at accuracy, they're very good at positioning, they're very good at telling where the other players will be, where they're coming from, where they might be hiding. So that's a little beginner tutorial on how to play 